Hey, I'm Randy and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we talk about high value hi-fi home theater and headphone equipment. And today, we're talking about seven reasons why Fluence turntables are the best value in turntables, record players. And also, big shout out and thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring our video. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about why Fluence makes the best budget turntables. Fluence. It was the turntable I purchased before I ever even started the channel. So no way am I shilling Fluence because I put my money where my mouth is. And to this day, I still use the Fluence as somewhat of my reference table, although I have the Metallica turntable from Project. So that's, that's the one I use the most now. Prior to Metallica coming in and doing performances in my office, it was the Fluence RT83. However, my RT83 is a bit different. I've upgraded it a little bit, but we will get into that next. It's right here. It's the black one. I love this. Turn oh yeah, by the way, Martin, one of my patrons printed a bunch of these up, okay? It's kind of scary to see myself looking up at myself when I play records. So let's talk about the first reason why Fluence turntables are the best deal in hi-fi. Removable head shell. This, this feature is probably the biggest one for me when it comes to recommending Fluence turntables because you can take off the cartridge in no time at all. Here, let's count it. I'm gonna put this one back on. Let's count how long it takes. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Three and a half seconds to put that cartridge back on, which means you can switch out cartridges in a snap. I used to have other cartridges, well, I do. Here's another cartridge right here. If you're buying a budget turntable, it probably means you're not a vinyl pro. Probably means you don't have a lot of time or experience with turntables or with vinyl. So I would argue if that is the case, then maybe you wanna try out different cartridges, different flavors, learn what you like. Well, if you get a turntable that doesn't have a removable head shell, you can change the cartridge. But good luck, because there's a good chance you're gonna rip something apart and break it. With a removable head shell, you just unscrewy screwy, pop it off, put the other one on, screwy screwy. One will have to align the cartridge, but it's a lot easier to align the cartridge on something like this that's removable than something that's not removable. So it's a brilliant way to be able to get two different cartridges, compare them, or get two different cartridges that sound different. And sometimes, depending upon your mood, you put the cartridge on. Maybe a little bit more exciting. Maybe you want the Ortofon 2M Blue, a little bit more laid back. Maybe you want the Naga Oka MP110. Without the removable head shell feature though, you're not changing them out quickly. You can, it's not gonna be fun though. And every time you get in there and start messing around with stuff, the likelihood that you're gonna break your turntable goes up. Love removable head shells. Frankly, for me personally, I only buy turntables that have removable head shells. Continuity. Continuity of their line. Not only continuity, but the brevity of their line. Because they don't have a hundred turntables out there. They have, now they have sometimes different colorways, different cartridge options. But for the most part, they only have about, let's start it off, RT80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. They only have six base level turntables. Again, you can get different colors. Sometimes you can get different cartridge options on there. Fundamentally, they have six turntables. And I think that's really, really, really smart. The RT80 and the RT81 are the same fundamental turntables. There are cartridge differences, but with the RT80 and 81, you're getting an integrated phono preamp. The feet are fixed. The motor is the same. Tone arm, all that stuff, all the same. And the same holds true 
for the 82, 83, 84, and 85. That's why if somebody is on a tight budget and they want to get into turntables, but they know, hey, I probably want to upgrade later, I would just suggest getting the RT82. Because the RT82 fundamentally is exactly the same as the RT85. RT82 comes in around $250 or $300. RT85 is $500. The differences really are the cartridge. And on the RT85, the acrylic platter. So the RT82, 83, 84 have a regular metal platter. Get an upgraded platter on the RT85. They all share the same raw materials, basically. And really, the differentiation is the 80 and 81, 82, 83, 84, and 85. The good news is if you get the 82, you can upgrade it later to get it exactly like the RT85 if you want to, which is pretty cool. Kind of like a car. You got the base model and then you got the XLT, whatever you want to call. Why should you have to go out and hire someone to build a website when you can do it by yourself? Big shout out and thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace. What is Squarespace? Well, you can use it to make a website. I know, that sounds a little bit intimidating. Making a website? With Squarespace though, it's super easy. Just go over to squarespace.com slash cheap audio man and you'll get 10% off your first order. You get to choose what type of theme, you get to choose what type of products, what type of website is gonna be. Are you making a fitness website? Are you a photographer? You tell them a little bit about yourself and they serve you up some options, templates, themes, and they're all kind of ready to go. And the only thing you have to do is fill up some text blocks, drop some pictures in. Super easy, drag and drop. I had an idea for a website and from creation of the idea in my head and the website actually being up and operational, three hours. And I'm sure now I could probably do it in even less time. If you wanna sell stuff, you can create a store. If you don't know how to do it, that's okay. They have a knowledge base section with videos to guide you through the entire process. You can get your own domain through Squarespace. If you wanna look at how many people are coming to your website and where those people are coming from, they have analytics. Squarespace is really kind of a be all end all for a regular person, me and you, to be able to create a really great looking and great operating website without having to pay someone thousands of dollars. Because at the end of the day, you just want a website that works, right? You just wanna sell your stuff. You just wanna promote your business. Why should you have to go out and hire someone to build a website when you can do it by yourself? So for me, Squarespace is the best way to start a website. Squarespace.com slash cheap audio man. You get 10% off your first order. Enter the code cheap audio man at checkout. The cartridges that they include, and not even the cartridges they include, it's the price they're charging for the cartridges they're including on their turntables. I'll give you an example. The RT83, which I have right back here, but I've changed out the cartridge. The RT83 comes stock with an Ortofon 2M Red. That cartridge on its own is around $100. But if you take a look at the competition, around the same price level, they are not including a cartridge of that value. RT85 is also a great example. It comes with the Ortofon 2M Blue. That cart comes in around $220, depending upon where you get it. That's almost half the cost of the entire turntable. So just search around, and that's one thing that I do now, is when I'm looking at a, a turntable or a tur new turntable is coming in, I'm thinking to myself, okay, here's the cart. This is what the cart costs. This is the total turntable cost. And then I kind of compare that to Fluence. Now, there could be an argument to say, well, even though we include a, a cartridge that's not quite as expensive as the one that's on the Fluence, we have a better motor. We have a better plinth. We have a quieter turntable. Do you? I don't know if you do. For you, for me, it's pretty easy to start seeing if a turntable has a high value simply by looking at the cartridge cost. Check out the cartridge, look that up, see how much it costs, and then go look at the Fluence offerings. Look at their cartridge, see how much it costs, do some math and figure out what percentage of the cost of the whole turntable is in the cartridge. Because here's the thing about turntables, the majority of the differences in sound, 
come from the cartridge. I know, not all of them, the majority of the sound differences in turntables comes from the cartridge. Generally speaking, a good rule of thumb is the better the cartridge, the better the sound. With caveats, there's different flavors with cartridges. But if you look at all the competition and compare them to Fluence, Fluence's turntables have way better carts at the same sale price. Adjustable feet. Hmm, you wouldn't think this would be a big deal because it really, if you want to level a turntable, first of all, you need to get, oh, here it is. So if you want to level a turntable, ow, which is good best practice, so your records sound better. You can do the old fashioned way, maybe put some pennies underneath the feet to kind of balance it out. Or if it has adjustable feet, you can just rotate them until your turntable is perfectly level. Some turntables, even more expensive ones, don't have adjustable feet. They could probably hide behind, well, adjustable feet cause issues, vibrations. Do they? I don't think they do. Adjustable feet is a feature on higher end turntables. Again, if you look at Fluence, you look at their models that have adjustable feet and then compare it to the competition. They include that feature on turntables that cost far less than the competition. It's just another feature they include at a really reasonable price. Selectable electronic speed control. This one may not be applicable to as many people. A lot of affordable turntables, to change the speed, you have to move the belt from one pulley to the next. Now that doesn't seem like that big of an issue. However, these belts aren't super tight all the time. So moving things around that can drop off, also getting your greasy, oily, especially mine, after I've eaten some Doritos, and then followed it by Oreos, again Doritos, and then wash it down with 20 ounces of Pepsi. Point being is the more you handle your belt, the you can get stuff on there, it can cause it to slip, all sorts of things. That's why with the Fluence, you just have a switch right here, 33 and 45. This may not even apply to you though, because you may just have 33s and that's fine. So this may not be a huge feature depending upon what type of records you listen to. For me, most, almost 95% of my collection is 33s. I do have some 45s though, and I don't like changing the belt out. Just switch, switch a roo on the top. Once again, another feature that is included in higher end turntables, and they make a big deal about it, and Fluence is just like, yeah, we have that on everything. Even their most affordable turntables, they have that on. Auto stop. Most turntables that are affordable don't have a lot of automation on them. What is automation? Well, auto stop and then auto return. This was a ubiquitous feature back in the 70s. So my parents, all the turntables that my parents, my grandparents had, they all had automatic features. So it gets to the end of the record, lifts up the tone arm, brings it back to the holder or whatever. And some, my parents had one that would drop down another record that would go over there, go back down. Now, is that the best, most, High fidelity? I don't know. It's pretty darn convenient. I'll tell you what's not convenient though, is when you get up and you go to the bathroom and you have a record going, you forget about it, and then you get, hey, the HDMI is not working, or the receiver's not working, or the internet's not working, or I can't get this trash bag out of the garbage can. Maybe the dog got its foot caught in its really long fur because it needs a, a haircut. And so it's hopping around on three feet. You're doing dog hair surgery and your record's going, in the other room because you forgot to turn it off because it doesn't have auto stop. Well, that all ends today, my friends. Just kidding, not really. Fluence has auto stop, which means if it gets to the end of the record, it stops. Now it doesn't return it back to zero, but at least it stops. So you don't have all that extra wear on your stylus. That may not move the needle, no pun intended, for a lot of people, but for me, it does because I do get distracted. I do a lot of things because I have multiple human beings living in my house that all have various needs that they don't seem to be able to take care of on their own. I'm happy to do it though, happy to do it. I just don't wanna ruin my new cartridge stylus because YouTube kids won't work on the big TV. Auto stop, 
more useful than you think it is. And finally, number seven is what I use. And I'm not saying because I use it, you should use it. But what I am saying is I do this for a living now. So I listen to a lot of records. And if there was a better product out there, I would have switched to it. I'm in a unique situation. I get to listen to a ton of turntables. So if there was something better at a better value that worked better and I thought it was better, that would be here instead of the Fluence. But the Fluence RT83, the turntable I purchased before the channel ever started, continues to be in service right here at the Cheap Audio Man. So I don't know if that holds any weight or water with you, but I've heard a few budget turntables and the RT83 continues to be the turntable that is back behind me. And then I have the Metallica turntable just because it's awesome. So if you're considering purchasing a turntable, please consider the Fluence line. Now, they may not be the sleekest looking turntables on the planet, but from a functionality standpoint, she may not look like much kid, but she's got it where it counts. What movie is that from? I think they're unrivaled and unbeaten at the price point. So if you want to support the channel, sign up for Patreon. We have Facebook group, Discord group, Sunday night Zooms. You can also use the uh, links in the description. Those are affiliate links. You can also use the thanks button. Buy me a cup of coffee. Don't feel compelled to buy me anything, though. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge it, listen, maybe through your new Fluence turntable, and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Mm -hmm.